Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. Welcome, friends. Now, I was thinking of songs to sing with you that I like to sing, and I thought of a song called Owl Moon that we haven't done together. And an owl moon, it's about somebody who goes owling. And owling is when you go out at night, because owls are awake at night, to go and try to identify them. So when we sing about going owling, the first verse, we're going to be quiet. And the reason why you're quiet is so you don't scare away the birds. And then when you go owling, you also have to make your own heat because it can be cold at night. You also have to be brave. And being brave because it's at night, sometimes it can be a little bit scary. And then finally, you have to have hope. And just hope that you'll see an owl. Okay, let's sing this together. Remember, first verse is you gotta be quiet. Thank you for singing with me, friends. Okay, let's read our first story. This one is called Hoot Owl. Hoot Owl, Master of Disguise by Sean Taylor, illustrated by Jean Julien. Watch out! I am Hoot Owl. I am hungry, and here I come. The darkness of midnight is all around me, but I fly through it as quick as a shooting star. And look there, a tasty rabbit for me to eat. Soon my sharp beak will be gobbling that rabbit up. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume, look. I disguise myself as a delicious carrot. It's the perfect way to catch a rabbit. I wait. It doesn't work. Never mind. I am Hoot Owl. I am hungry. 
and here I come. The knight has a thousand eyes, and two of them are mine. I swoop through the bleak blackness like a wolf in the air. Oh, and look there. A juicy little lamb stands helpless in the cool of the night. The lamb looks cuddly, but soon I will be eating it. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look, I disguise myself as a soft and fluffy mother sheep. It's the perfect way to catch a lamb. I wait. It doesn't work. But still, I am Hoot Owl. I am hungry. The terrible silence of the night spreads everywhere, but I cut through it like a knife. And look there. A pigeon stands trembling, afraid that a dangerous creature of the dark such as an owl might be passing by. In a matter of moments, the pigeon will be in my tummy. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am the master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look, I disguise myself as an ornamental bird bath. It's the perfect way to catch a pigeon. I wait. It doesn't work. But never mind. I am a hoot owl. I am very, very hungry. And here I come. The shadowy night stretches away forever as black as burnt toast. Oh, and look there. A mouth-watering pizza. My eyes glitter like sardines because I am sure the pizza will be mine. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look, I disguise myself as a waiter. It's the perfect way to catch a pizza. I wait. The disguise works. The pizza does not move. They don't call me a master disguise for nothing. I chomp the pizza with my deadly dangerous beak. Mmm, it is pepperoni. The last bite is as good as the first. Then, tired but satisfied, I transform myself back into plain hoot owl. I disappear into the dark enormousness of the night. I am gone. And the world can sleep again. Until Hoot Owl returns. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Well, I know a rhyme about owls. Let's count how many we have here today. Ready? We have one, two, Three, four, five. Now, five little owls on a dark, dark night. Five little owls are quite a sight. Five little owls, are you keeping score? One flew away. Woo! And that leaves four. One, two, three, four. Four little owls are as happy as can be. When one flew away, bye-bye. And that leaves three. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three little owls calling, hoo, hoo, hoo. Can you do that with me? Hoo, hoo, hoo. One flew away, bye-bye, little owl. And that leaves two. Two little owls having lots of fun. But when one flew away, bye-bye, little owl. And that leaves one. One little owl, and we're almost done. When they fly away, that leaves none. Thanks for your help with that.
let's sing, or actually, let's read one more book. And this one's called The Littlest Things Give the Loveliest Hugs. By Mark Sparing, illustrated by Maddie Frost. How do you do it, my sweet little bug? You're ever so clever at giving a hug. You snuggle so nicely, it really is true. Nobody nowhere can cuddle like you. When we cozy up in our sweet comfy nest, you're so squishy squashy, you're simply the best. There's something about you that's perfectly snug. Yes, the littlest things give the loveliest hugs. So come here this instant, my duckling, my dear. Just waddle up to me. I need you right here. Show me that wonderful thing that you do, for nobody nowhere can cuddle like you. You must have learned hugging from small fluffy things, with fur soft as velvet or white downy wings. Your hugs are a triumph, my darling, my dove, for the littlest things give the loveliest hugs. So down in our burrow, we'll cozy up close, with leaves wrapped around us, we're warmer than toast. I'll sing to you softly. I'll squeak, bill, and coo, for nobody nowhere can cuddle like you. And mommies and daddies throughout the land, we know that it's true. Yes, we all understand. That nestled in burrows or curled under rugs, the littlest things give the loveliest hugs. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Hugs have such a way of making you feel safe and loved. And if you need an extra hug, you can always ask your family. And remember that each of you are loved and are special. Okay, let's end story time with our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Please take care, and I'll see you next week.